You are the Christ. That means you are the anointed one, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon of Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. Amen. That means the Holy Spirit reveals it to us for salvation. He reveals it to each and every one personally. I can't reveal it to you. Billy Graham couldn't reveal it to all them thousands and millions of people. He can speak it. We can preach it. But the Holy Spirit has to reveal it. Yep. And when it's revealed to your heart that Jesus Christ is He, you have the free choice and ability to receive Him and walk in that door, praise God, and let Him walk into your life because He's standing out there knocking. Or you can reject Him. Don't mean He's going to give up on you right then. Don't get me wrong. Because He's going to keep on. Somebody's praying for you. But, G but Peter said this, but people are so fickle. We're all kind of, kind of wishy-washy sometimes. It can happen in our natural mind that we're wishy-washy. You know what I'm talking about? One minute somebody will love you to death. Oh, I just love you to death. Baby. And the next minute they hate you to death. That's right. And you go, what did I do to you for you to hate me? <laughs> Don't know. I'm just wishy-washy. Don't mind me fickle. I, I loved you yesterday, but I can't stand you. Baby. <laughs> well, here's poor Peter. As soon as he says this, and, and Jesus lays it out and says, you know, upon that rock, that stance, he says this, and I say unto you also that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, and I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, amen, and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, oh, amen. and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Jesus the Christ. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again on the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him. What? Wait a minute. He done took the anointed one, the Messiah, the Son of the living God, God in the flesh, and said, I'm going to rebuke you, God. I know you made heaven and earth. I know you made everything within. I know you made me. But I'm going to rebuke you now. <laughs> and he began, and he just had the revelation. And then all of a sudden the flesh takes on. How many has been there? My goodness, you walking in the Spirit, oh, praise God. My faith is in Christ and crucified. I feel the power of God. Things are working out right. And all of a sudden you start walking in the place. Where did that come from? Poor Peter. And what did Jesus say to him? Oh, it's okay, Peter. It's going to be okay. It's all right. No, no, no. No, he didn't. God loves you like you are. He loves you right where you're at. Just keep that stance, Peter. No, he didn't do that, did he? He said, but he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Whew. Wow, Jesus, that's strong. <laughs> you are an offense unto me. Oh, that's even stronger. For you savor not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, that's us today, mm -hmm. any man or woman, let him or them deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Ah, goodness. That's what he's asking us even today. I'll fit it. I'll end with that. This with that. Think about it. What does it profit a person to gain all the friends in the world? to gain your family's approval. To gain the approval and everybody pats you on the back and, and you be arrayed by men and adored by men and women and adored by your family. He's the nice guy. He's such a sweet person. He's got such a good heart. Because he don't stir up any trouble. He always makes peace with the world. He's such a loving individual. Is he really? If he never stands up for the truth. Is a person, he or she, really a loving individual if they never have a stance for Jesus Christ? Think about it. Or is that a lie from hell? From Satan? That's a lie from the pit. Amen. It looks good on the outside. He never offends anybody. But Jesus offended almost all. And he was love. He is love. It still is love. If we are in the love of Jesus, y'all, we've got to get ready. We're going to offend him. And
it's not going to be on purpose. Your intention inside your heart, God sees your motives. If it's not to stir up strife or fight, He knows your motive is for them to be saved. He knows in your heart. And you won't be doing it on purpose. You're really trying to get the truth out there. You're really praying for these people. You really want them to be saved. And they get mad and fire at you. And blame you for stirring up trouble in the whole family or the whole block or the whole city. Like in Acts 16, these two men trouble our city. They gathered Paul and Silas and said, these two men trouble our city. You're going to trouble some cities, y'all. I'm letting you know because I believe it's about to be on. As that phrase said, it's on now. Because there's things that's been loosed in the spiritual. And there's things that's been loosed pits are starting to be opened up. And these things are coming out and they're going to be after us. Guess what? We're going to have greater as he that is in us than he is in the world. We're going to have to fight for The only power comes, the Holy Spirit moves through what? That Jesus is God. That is the stance he moves on and through what he paid for at the cross, you are saved. By His work at the cross, by His finished work, you can't add to it by doing your hair a certain way and not wearing makeup. You can't add to it by wearing your skirt a certain way. You can't add to it by giving a tithe. You're not going to move God by giving a tithe. You move God by your faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. The other works are the fruit of the Spirit. They're love. Praise God. Your own prayer. I'm very sorry. Uh, comments down. The invitation, we'd like to open up an invitation to anybody. I'm on. I'm on. Turn on the CD, and we're going to pray. That there be anybody that's, that has doubts, or, or Satan is trying to put some type of unbelief in you, you know right now you can say, Lord Jesus, help my unbelief. I believe, but help my unbelief. Because we all fall sometimes into that kind of thing. And Jesus is trying to welcome us right now. That there may be those that are not sure that they have a personal knowing that Jesus is God right now. That He is the Son of the living God. Has that been revealed to your heart? If it hasn't, while this music plays, we need to evaluate ourselves, amen.